Thank you for joining us today. And it's, it's exciting today to know that this is chapter two of the Rostelli Food Group session. We learned so much the first time that we got together and it's wonderful that we can come back and continue the process. Your response from our first show was overwhelming and we are ready to go with our second. Today we'll be talking about seafood and the benefits of eating good seafood. And then we'll talk about cooking the perfect seafood. Featured guest today will be the founder of Rastelli uh, Meats and uh, his food group. And he will also be uh, introducing their seafood expert, Brittany Rastelli. She's amazing. You're going to love this woman. And of course, you know, as we talk about today, you can see I have our Transitions Lifestyle Systems uh, logo behind us for the simple reason that we are definitely TLS friendly in this show today. We have a very special person that so many of us know and love. She's a naturopath naturopathic physician. She has headed up our clinical research team at marketamericashop.com. She has helped thousands of people across the globe. She has traveled to many countries to bring the message of good health and a quality lifestyle. Dr. Deidre Mason, how are you doing today? I am wonderful. Happy Monday to everybody. Happy Seafood Monday to everybody. You know, Dennis, I appreciate what you just said about good information, um, about bringing health to individuals, because that's really what today's show and the previous show with uh, Ray and team has allowed us to do is to kind of break some of those myths in nutrition. A lot of people, for example, when we talked about red meat, were concerned about the nutrient density of red meat, the inflammatory nature of red meat, or risk factors. Um, of, of eating a protein-rich diet. And we were able to bust some of those myths, helping people understand amino acids and the way they function in the body, what we need and what we don't need a lot of. And I think today's talk is going to kind of answer that question about what we do not need, right? We do not want junk in our food. We want to make sure that we know the source of our protein. So when we think about sustainable practice, health practice, nutrient density, seafood is the perfect topic. You may be interested to know that seafood is considered a functional food. Now, what do I mean by a functional food? It's not just protein and healthy fats. It's also laden with great nutrients and antioxidants. More importantly, it's got nutrients in it that people that are eating a high processed diet never see. So when we think about really ramping up our metabolism, improving our protein sources, seafood like shrimp and salmon are brilliant ways to do this because they're both rich in an antioxidant called astaxanthin. Now astaxanthin, this is one of those antioxidants that has endurance benefits, it has heart healthy benefits, it has visual health and anti-aging benefits. Dennis, it even has healthy skin benefits. Nice. So when you think about shrimp and salmon, it's actually the astaxanthin that gives them that really pink color. It's also what makes them so great for your heart and so great for your skin. Something else that's very rich in seafood are omega-3 fatty acids. Now this is important because a lot of the people that were thinking about avoiding red meat are still thinking, where do I get my good protein from? Salmon and shrimp are brilliant ways to do this. About 90% of their meat is protein. So it's a perfect protein source. But in addition to that, it's also an extremely rich source of omega fatty acids. Now, many people don't know this, so I'm gonna tell you here today, omega-3 fatty acids are not created in the body. You cannot synthesize them. So you need to take them. One of my favorite lines with health and nutrition is, if you can't make it, you need to take it. And so we need to make sure that we're getting an adequate amount of omega-3 fatty acids in our diet to offset the inflammatory nature of the world that we live in, the environment, sometimes the excess sugars or simple carbohydrates that make it into our diet. 
sometimes the lack of sleep that we get that makes us not just feel groggy, it makes us kind of look under the weather as well, right? So you want to make sure that your protein sources are rich in healthy omega-3 fatty acids. That's why salmon, that's why shrimp. For individuals that are concerned about excess cholesterol, you should know that salmon and shrimp, while they do contain some cholesterol, are considered the type of cholesterol that moves in the body and can raise good cholesterol and decrease concerns that we have with elevated triglycerides, a primary risk factor in cardiovascular disease and even type two diabetes. So when we think about metabolic function, when we think about endocrine function, when we think about energy throughout the day and healthy aging, I definitely want you to think about the benefit from the antioxidants, vitamins and minerals that are naturally found in fish and salmon, but really pay attention to that. This is gonna be your best source for a healthy fat. Whether you want that to have radiant glowing skin in your later decades of life, or you wanna make sure that your blood sugar stay within healthy ranges, that your heart stays healthy, or that you just have a great protein source for healthy aging. I'm telling you the answer is in getting good amount of salmon and shrimp. And today I'm excited because we're gonna learn about how to cook those and also stay healthy. Because we know that cooking is one of the ways that we make what was once very healthy and can turn it the wrong direction. Today we're gonna move the needle towards your health and learn how to cook um, the seafood products perfectly. Deidre, thank you very much. I love it when you get excited. You get so <laughs> about it you know and it's even great to think about that this is part of our shopping annuity because with Ristelli they are supporting the entire market America family in North America we hope to have a global support effort as we move forward just keep them growing team again we're moving now to introduce the founder of Ristelli's food group he's an amazing individual to know him is to love him and you know while he was his first then 19 when he became a butcher, you should also know he is an avid musician, uh, an expert on the piano. He's an avid Philadelphia Eagles fan and known throughout the greater Philadelphia area as the number one tailgate cook or chef on the planet. So Ray, it's a pleasure to have you, welcome. Dennis, it's great to be here. It's great to be here with the Market America family. I can't tell you how happy and excited I am about doing, doing our second show here. And Dr. D, you always make me feel so good about what I'm about to eat. And, and, and I love you for that. I love that you give us all that information. So it's really helpful. And most of you know me as a butcher. So you think of me as that guy that cuts steaks and chops. Um, but see, we also butcher seafood. So today we're going to talk about seafood. I brought my beautiful daughter-in-law, Brittany, in today, who's really our culinary expert and really our seafood expert. You'll get to meet her in a minute. But before we do that, I want to talk to you about the salmon itself and then the shrimp. So first, let's take a look at the salmon. So if you take a look at this beautiful, vibrant color. Now, what I want you to notice is these streaks in here. These streaks are what we call marbling. That's the same marbling that I look for in a prime piece of beef. When I see that marbling, I see exactly what Dr. D sees, which is high omega-3s. And that's really what we want. This is not just any salmon. This is the finest salmon in the world. It comes from the Faroe Islands. Where are the Faroe Islands? Well, they're about a few hundred miles northwest of Scotland. Very, very cold Arctic water a flurry, flowing current, which is really important to be able to make sure that we raise these in the open ocean. Now remember, when you get that vibrant color and you get this great marbling, it's also because these are antibiotic free. They uh, don't have any hormones in them. They're as natural as you can get and as high in protein as you get. The thing I will tell you about salmon that I am most excited about was I was never a fish eater. As a meat eater, I'm a butcher who's cut steaks forever and ever. And when I started cutting fish, you know, it, it got to be what I really want to taste it. So when I got to really taste this salmon, I became a seafood lover because the salmon doesn't have a fishy taste. It's incredibly tender, like a prime piece of beef is. Incredibly good for you. And because of that, I've become a seafood lover. Now, I, the one thing I also want to show you is how they come packed. So these come packaged 
individually vacuum packaged just like our steaks do. And that's really critical because this packaging, remember, last reason, we seal in the freshness by packaging, packaging this and we keep out the bacteria. Now, very different than beef. When this comes to you in this package frozen, for you to be able to take it out and cook it, I do not want you to leave it in this package. You take, you take it out of this package as soon as it's thawed and then just put it on the plate. I really don't want it sitting in this vacuum package for more than four or five hours after it's thawed. So very, very important. So now we're gonna go back to our shrimp. So let's take a look at our shrimp. So when we look at our shrimp. This is all natural, chem-free, domestic Gulf shrimp. Look at the size of it. First of all, it's colossal, right? It's 16 to 20. What does 16 to 20 mean? 16 to 20 means there are approximately 16 to 20 of these large jumbo colossal shrimp in every pound that you get. This is that typical jumbo shrimp you get in a shrimp cocktail. Now, what I like about it is we know where it comes from. It comes from Texas. It comes from our Gulf waters that are beautiful and clean and they're chemical free, right? These do not have sodium tripolyphosphate soaked in them. These are natural. They come out of the water. They're wild caught. And that's really, really important to know what we've got here. So we talk about knowing our source. We talk about knowing our product. You know the butcher who's preparing all this for you. I want to introduce to you my daughter-in-law, Brittany Ristelli. And Brittany is really the star of the show when it comes to seafood. Brittany really uh, understands the culinary side of it, but she's also a mother of two, right? My, two of my grandkids. Um, very, very busy, full-time job, more than full-time, um, as she will tell you. But Brittany, come on in. Say hello. Oh, oh, look at the, hello. Oh. <laughs> Say hello to Brittany. Hi, everyone. So I just wanted to point out the fact that today is actually Ray's birthday. Yeah, it, thank Ooh. you so much. Happy birthday, <laughs> and we're going to have this right after we do this. Yes. Mwah. Thank you. Thank you so <laughs> much. Okay. All Love right. Everyone. So the recipes that we are going to make today are three that I cook in my home all of the time. I am not culinary trained, as my father-in-law just said. I am a busy working mom of two. And um, a lot of times when I'm trying to cook meals at home, I want to make smart choices and have something that I feel really good about feeding my family that doesn't take a lot of time. So the first thing we're going to do is start with a broiled salmon. Now this one takes 12 minutes. So you want to put your broiler on high. And again, it's going to take about 10 to 12 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. And if you're using an oven broiler, I would use parchment paper, but I'm going to use this little one here today. So I'm just going to have uh, just some foil wrap. And then I used avocado oil on this. So we're going to take our salmon, which again is that absolutely gorgeous, vibrant orange color with those nice stripes. So we're starting with a really beautiful piece of fish. I'm going to set that there. And then for a sauce that's really easy to make, I'm going to take some Dijon mustard and some fresh garlic. You can take a few sprigs of rosemary. And then you're just going to have some fresh lemon juice. If you have the lemon that is in the bottle, that's fine too. The recipes are all made to be versatile and you can change them up as much as you like. So if you don't like rosemary, but you like dill, switch it out. If you don't like Dijon mustard, you prefer yellow mustard, switch that out. So you'll take your sauce and just spoon it over your salmon. We are going to put that in the broiler and we'll see him in 12 minutes. Okay. And then for our saute method for the salmon, again, you can use a spray for your oil just to give you a little bit less. butter or any of those natural butter options, you can use that as well. So take your salmon, you're going to put it on a nice hot pan. And then this is just going to sear for about three minutes. And we're going to let that rest 
for about three minutes before we add our other ingredients. And the ingredients that we're going to add to this particular dish are going to be some cherry tomatoes, a little bit of capers, some fresh lemon juice, and a little bit of spinach. It's all going to cook in the very same pan, so you're not dirtying a ton of stuff around your house, which if you're like me, clean up is the part that's not any fun. The cooking is actually the fun part. Again, about three minutes. And the thing that I love the most about the Faroe Island salmon is the flavor. Um, before I was introduced to this particular salmon, um, I wasn't a salmon lover, I have to be honest. I didn't dislike it, but it just, to be honest, was kind of like a, eh, kind of how I felt about it. When I finally tried the Faroe Island salmon, trust me when I tell you this is different. It's incredibly flavorful. Um, it comes to you glass frozen, which is important because it's locking in all of the nutrients. So those omega-3s, the fatty acids, all of those things that are really good for us are locked in. And then this takes about 20 to 30 minutes in cold water to defrost. So really no time at all to have this as a staple in your freezer. This is an item that we grill, we broil, we saute. In the summertime, we might smear a little bit of our favorite barbecue sauce on it and then put it on the grill. It's just such a versatile piece of fish that's delicious. I'm just going to check this one. You see how it has that really nice crust? Skinless, that's skinless. These are boneless, they're skinless. I don't have a lot of time to be dealing with a lot of that. <laughs> so at this point, I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice. Oh, that's terrific. God, I love a chef's kitchen. <laughs> this doesn't happen at my house. We're going to add our cherry tomatoes, add a little bit of capers. And again, if you don't like capers, don't put them in. The dish will not change. And then again, just going to let that sear a little bit. You can add some fresh parsley if you like, some seasoning. Notice we didn't add any salt to this dish whatsoever. The lemon juice is going to be our sauce with that little bit of avocado oil, but the fish is definitely the star of our show here. And it's just an absolutely delicious dish when it's done. And then from here, I'm going to add a little bit of spinach. The recipe is going to call for about a cup. And once this wilts, we'll know that our fish is done. Brittany, this looks so incredibly healthy. It, it's making me feel really good on my birthday. Yes. <laughs> and you know what? I don't feel quite so old today now. Not at all. <laughs> and it's delicious. And again, it just takes a matter of minutes which is another one of my favorite things about these dishes. I don't want to be spending a lot of time over a stove when I have my two little ones running around and I and I worked all day. Honestly, the one that's going on in the broiler right now is what I normally would cook during the week because it's just easy for me to throw it in. And this salmon is absolutely oh, gorgeous. Yeah, we can plate this up. Okay. That looks absolutely spectacular. Holy cow. It's definitely TLS friendly for sure. <laughs> I want to speak to that because I know that while I'm not making any, I'm not making any, uh, throwing any shade raise way about age, a lot of people are concerned about cholesterol they're concerned about inflammation and they want to make sure that the way they cook, that it's not just the protein source that is healthy, but that the way that they're cooking it is healthy. And that avocado oil is a brilliant way to do this. Not only does it have a higher smoking point than olive oil, which means it's not going to oxidize and you're going to get the best aspects of this oil. It's incredibly flavorful with less oil than uh, you would use in say, even an olive oil spray. So when Brittany's spraying that on, she's definitely speaking to a crowd that wants a, a lower fat option. But I do want you to know, spray or otherwise, you've got a great option in that avocado oil. The length of the chain of avocado oil doesn't just make it less likely to oxidize. It also gives you some incredible brain healthy benefits 
and cardiovascular benefits. So when people are trying to find out how do I move the needle towards a better cardiovascular anti-inflammatory diet, it's not just the seafood, it's those those tomatoes with the lycopene, it's the you know rich antioxidants and minerals that are found in a dark green leafy like spinach. And then of course, adding in like just topping it off with the lemon, wildly flavorful and that avocado oil kind of gives you that, not just that TLS friendly solution, but makes you feel like you're not missing out on anything. Cause isn't that what people, when they think of eating healthy, they think they're gonna miss out on flavor. What Brittany just showed us is flavor is not optional. You get to have it all. You know, and, and you said it, Dr. Day, and I want you to look at this. Look at this beautiful moisture inside this piece of salmon. And that's earlier when I talked to you about the marbling, that's what you get. It's like a prime piece of beef. And this salmon is so pure that I will tell you that the sushi restaurants purchase this salmon from us for their sushi. That's how high the quality grade is. It. Finest in the world, trust me. And I'm a butcher, but I'm not a chef, but even I can look good doing it. this. Not quite as good as Brittany, but I can look almost. The consistency, I think the consistency of getting good fish will be three minutes left to go. So I wanna get started with the shrimp. And then by the time this is done, I'll be able to plate this and the salmon for you. And again, it just shows you it's a matter of minutes for these dishes. So for the shrimp option, we're gonna add um, a little bit of water, just a tiny bit, because we want to steam the shrimp just a little bit. And then we can add our shrimp. And then we're going to add a little bit of garlic. And these shrimp are tailless, peeled, steaming, clean and ready to go right into the pan. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of coconut aminos. And if you're not familiar with coconut aminos, just know it's an alternate to soy sauce. It has a great flavor and then a lot less sodium. Let Dr. D kind of talk about the benefits of that. But when you're cooking shrimp, you wanna make sure that they curl kind of to like a, a little bit of a closed C. You don't want them to go into a perfect circle. When you are sauteing shrimp, these can be used as a base in almost any recipe. They can be used for tacos. They can be used for a salad. They can be used for a stir fry. You can bake them. There are so many different things that you can do with shrimp that are sweet, succulent. They're a wonderful addition if you have a high protein diet that you wanna be following. These are just a beautiful, option for anybody to have as a staple in your freezer. Again, I love versatility. I love things that are quick, easy, fast. A lot of times, you know, my son recently started playing sports. And let me tell you, as soon as he's done practice or his games, he always asks me to take him to a drive through And a lot of times I take him, but I won't get anything for myself or my husband. When I get home, I take a couple minutes and I prepare something easy and quick like this. And again, I feel good about eating it and I feel good about serving it to my family. So these shrimp are almost done. You can see that just took a matter of minutes. And again, if you're doing a stir fry, add some broccoli, add some peppers to this, use the coconut aminos, throw them over some brown rice. Um, if you wanted to make a scampi, again, use that soy butter. But this one today, we actually, are gonna show you with a uh, cauliflower rice, which I thought would be a really fun option. You can get this at your local supermarket. If you don't wanna make it from scratch, which today, I'll be honest, I did not. Look at the size of these shrimp. They're absolutely beautiful. And I think I think because they're they're peeled and they're deveined, and we actually have um, you know, taken the tail off for you, we've really taken all the work out of it. And then being a wild caught natural shrimp, when you taste these shrimp, I think that's what's going to really uh, make the difference. You know, most people love shrimp. What I will tell you is that most people have never tasted a shrimp that is chemical free, right? That ha does not have 
uh, sodium tripolyphosphates added to them. So because of that, you're going to taste this shrimp and you're going to say what I said. Oh my goodness, I've never tasted shrimp like this in my life. So it's all about the flavor. It's all about the ease of cooking, which Brittany has shown us. And again, quick, easy. Here's a very, very busy mom with two kids at home that has lots to do. So I'm really, I'm really excited because she's feeding my grandkids really well. And of course her husband. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that beautiful though? It's just, it's and easy. And, and so just easy. simple. Yes. Yes. It's just one of the things that really popped up for me about that was, Brittany, when you mentioned not just being a busy mom, but just the fact that there's so many ways to cook that shrimp, right? Because that's what so many people struggle with when it comes to eating healthy, is they feel like they have to eat the same thing day after day. And you just mentioned just off the top of your head, like seven different ways that we could use that shrimp, hot and cold. I mean, that's absolutely brilliant. Not just the taste, Ray, but also ways to make it more flavorful. I know, Ray, you had mentioned that that Gulf caught, wild caught shrimp also means that it's gonna naturally be low in sodium because it's not processed or handled the way many commercial shrimps are handled that uh, individuals are eating. But those uh, liquid uh, aminos or the coconut aminos are also another way for you to get a ton of flavor, even a sweetness that you get from coconut aminos, but it's low sodium, it's soy free, it's gluten free. It means that there's a lot of ways, not just to cook the shrimp, but prepare the shrimp that are going to kind of meet that need of a low allergen lifestyle, a, a, a gluten free lifestyle. And then you mentioned it, the high protein lifestyles are going to be um, really met, their needs are going to be met with um, such a fantastic protein source, and it does look brilliant. One of the things that I wanted to add in there was the excitement for me because people all the time say, Dennis, you know, I live on my own or just my wife and I, but this, when you're buying the shrimp or the salmon, you can just take out what you're going to use and put it back into the freezer. You don't have to use everything all the time. So it's a great way to make sure that you can have great food and be able to cook the right portions. That's a, that's a great point, Dennis. And you know, the shrimp comes uh, in a bag, obviously, individually um, quick frozen. So you can pull out one or two or eight or 10, depending on what you need. And, and of course, the, the salmon is individually banking packaged. But what's really nice about this is that in just minutes, Brittany has showed you two or three different ways to be able to cook something. So it becomes really versatile. It's that it's that piece of fish and a piece of shellfish that you want in your freezer because you can make so many different dishes with it on a weekly basis. And as Dr. D said, you know, the health attributes of these two products uh, are kind of through the roof, right? Really high in omega-3s, high in protein, wild caught, all natural, antibiotic free, steroid free, hormone free, all the things that we really want to put in our body. But while I'm talking, I can see Brittany's ready to plate her salmon that she broiled. So, oh, that looks delicious. So these just came out of the broiler, 12 minutes it took. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plate them. And then I'd love for you to press down and kind of show them how gorgeous this looks after it comes out of the broiler and the flaking of the particular salmon. So this is what I love most about this salmon. Because of the marbling, look at the way this salmon just flakes apart. As I push down with my fork right in between each one. And this, and what was, that was the marbling. That was that beautiful marbling that we saw. Mm -hmm. And look at how beautiful that salmon is. It is, it is, I will tell you, it is the finest salmon you will ever, ever taste. And because it comes from the Faroe Islands, it has all the attributes that we want. Really pure seafood raised in fjords which have cold pristine arctic water and that makes a difference knowing where our food comes from knowing who's handling how it's being handled and knowing that it's coming right from the water to us for cutting and right to your door that's really important because now there's no guesswork anymore you don't have to run to the supermarket because you're not going to find this in the supermarket um, but it'll be coming right to your door and you know we're we're real simple people when it comes to food we have a simple saying, if it's not good enough for our mom, then it's not good enough for our guests. And of course, Market America is our family, and we want to make sure that we give you the same exact product that we serve to our families. And this is what Brittany has showed you today. This is what she makes uh, quite often, I know that, because 
typically I'll get a call and she'll say, Dad, I got some salmon on. Do you want to come? So thank you for that. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank you. Brittany, you've done a great job in helping us understand how to have the perfect recipes and the varieties. And I can't tell you, for those of us that are unfranchised business owners and that we live this life, we're always looking to be vital and be at our best. And if you can think about this, we can put Ristelli's on our auto ship program and get as high as 27% internet business volume, which contributes to not only you, but your entire team. So uh, Ray, I cannot tell you, Brittany, how excited we are at Market America to have you as part of our family. Market America's butcher, and now we have Market America's seafood expert. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we're, you know, we're really excited about it. And I want to come down to the meat block for just one more second here. The, actually, we're going to call it the seafood block because when you really take a look at the salmon, you take a look at the size of these shrimp, um, they're just, they're, they're jumbo, they're colossal. But I also want you to notice, I've got some beautiful tuna here on this. And this actually comes as part of a, a sample pack that we sell, um, our seafood sampler. And that tuna is just like our salmon and shrimp. It's a natural product. That's why the color you see, that's the natural color of the tuna. How many times have you gone into a supermarket and you see tuna that's bright red? It's got all kinds of different um, colors in it and it looks really beautiful. Well, unfortunately, that's tripolyphosphates. That's things that are added to that tuna for preservatives. You know what we use for our preservatives, Dennis and Dee? We use freezing process and vacuum packaging. That's our preservative process, not any of the chemicals. So I thought that was important for you to know because we are what we eat at the end of the day. That's beautiful. The thing I, I, the thing I love about this is that we can talk about a purity of process in your method, a purity of process and sustainability in your sourcing of meat and fish. And it speaks to a level of transparency that the consumer wants, not just in finding their their butcher and their uh, their seafood specialist, but in everything in their partnerships with people. And that is something that has really made me gravitate to the Rosselli name because there's a transparency and a purity of process. And I can't tell you what that means to me as a physician, and what it means to me to be able to share that message with other people. Couldn't have said it better, D. I have to tell you, we got the best when it comes to food and partnering with the Rostelli Food Group. Um, let me ask you, Brittany, do you have any final comments before we round this off? No, I honestly, the Faroe Island salmon and the shrimp, I, I, knew, I said it before, are just two of my favorite staples to have in my own freezer at home because I feel great about them and the ease of them. I mean, every single recipe that I make with my shrimp and with the Faroe Island salmon, whether I'm grilling, broiling, or sauteing, doesn't take any time. And then the ingredients that I'm able to put with those particular items make me feel really good about serving that to my family. So I hope everyone enjoys them as much as we do. And if you have any recipe questions, please reach out because we are happy to help. Yes. Thanks, Brittany. We hope you'll join us again. And Ray, as always, all of those great tips you bring to the table. Final comments? Well, listen, we're, you know how excited we are to be a, a part of Market America. Um, we'll continue to bring our Market America family. What I, we bring our own family, and that's great, healthy, nutritious food with ideas. And we love hearing your ideas. So be part of the community. Let us know what you like. Tell us some of your great recipes and your ideas. We'd love to share them. Thank you, Ray D. Any final comments? Ultimately, I just want to encourage everyone to take advantage of the, the seafood package. Um, we didn't get to look at tuna today, but again, tuna is one of those incredible um, um, fat-rich, omega-3 rich foods. Um, again, rich in antioxidants, rich in protein. I can't, um, I can't express my gratitude enough for having such incredible food to put um, on my own plate. Thank you again. Thank you, Dee. Thank you for all of you for joining in today. I'm off to the freezer. I'm going to pull out both shrimp and salmon and talk to my spouse, Nancy, to deliver that type of beautiful meal tonight. Thank you, and we'll be back with another 
chapter of the Rostelli Food Group. Thank you, guys. Thank you.